Hi guys and welcome to the Rat Cave. We are live, or at least I think we are. Uh, just give us a uh, thumbs up or a like or whatever so I know and that I can tell that you're there. God, I've not done one of these for ages. I'm a little bit nervous. Bit of stage fright, I think. <laughs> um, so just wait for a few more people to sort of, uh, you know, jump in, arrive, whatever. I don't know. I'm, a, I'm on time and I'm about a minute late. So, yeah, just uh, just let me know everything's good. You can hear me, all that sort of stuff. You can see me all right. Kids have been using the laptop for homeschooling. So, you know, it's, it's just about working, I think. God, don't talk to me about homeschooling. Thankfully, I'm at work, so it's uh, <laughs> it's not too bad. The wife's having to put up with that. So, uh, right, live and good quality, that's all I need to know. That's all I need to know. Whether the uh, content will be good quality, I don't know. But uh, that's down to you guys because I've got a few bits to talk about and then I need you guys to sort of, uh, but, you know, interact a little bit as I'm just going to dry up. So we're going till nine o'clock tonight, all being well. Um, if it gets really quiet and, you know, I start choking, then, you know, I'll just do... Uh, quality rather than quantity <laughs> but no we'll keep it going keep it going for a, for an hour hopefully so let me know in the comments what you've been up to you know are you uh, well everyone's locked down aren't they at the minute um are you managing to be at work or anything like that or are you doing any type of shooting well pest control i suppose that's as good as it gets at the minute um you know, just let me know what you guys are doing, what you've got on your wish list, or new purchases and stuff like that. You know, just let me know, and if I if I've you know got a bit of uh, knowledge about it, I'll let you know. So, uh, first of all, what I want to mention is uh, the competition that you may or may not be aware of. I don't know whether you are. You should be. Where where have you been? Um, yeah, so the competition we've got running, you've, you may have may be aware of it. Um, basically, you've got to be subscribed to the channel, obviously. Uh, you've got to comment on a video of some description, any video, even this, even this video. Comment on a video with the phrase that pays, which is subbed rack. So you've just got to put subtract and, and I said this in one of my other videos, you've got to be active and you've got to be, I emphasize that, you've got to be active on rackandload.com, okay? If you don't know what rackandload.com is, go and have a look. Not now, do it after we've done this. Uh, go and have a look. Works just like Facebook, um, but without all of Zuckerberg's rules and stuff, you know, you can. there's a selling page on there. You can have a profile. You can have um, – uh, it's just like, you know, there's groups, there's pages, there's a map, this, that, and the other. We've had a few little gremlins. You know, it's, it's quite a quite a hefty website, you know, to uh, to sort of, you know, iron out gremlins and stuff. But go and check that out. <clears throat> let, me, uh, let me know what you think of it. If you're on it already, let me know. So, um, you know, and, and let me know if you're having any problems with it. I'm finding brackenload.com. You know, just keep me uh, keep me posted as far as that goes. But, yeah, the competition. So that's what you got to do. You've got to comment on any video. You've got to be subscribed. And you've got to be active on rackenload.com. Okay? What will you win if you're the lucky winner? By the way, this is when we get to 50,000 subscribers. I think we're at 46,200 and something at the minute. So probably looking at it, there's probably a couple of months to go yet. Okay. But what do you win? Now, this is a good bit. This is a good bit. One lucky winner will win a day shooting with Kurt Grimes, who is the world number one uh, speed steel shooter. I believe um, you'll have a day shooting with him. Not in the US, unfortunately. I'm not paying flights or anything like that. Uh, that'll be here in the UK at Yeavely Estate, and you'll be basically it'll be you'll be 
getting trained by him. And then, this is even better, you will then be in Kurt Grimes' squad on another day, probably a couple of days later, in a competition shooting speed steel. You'll be supplied ammo. If you haven't got your own gun, you'll be supplied a gun. So that is an amazing, amazing prize. Then, also, I've got a goodie bag as well. There's going to be other bits and pieces like, you know, the cap and stuff like that. But uh, what have we got here? Our friends at Wiley X, and you'll be wearing these, obviously, uh, on the, uh, the day you're shooting. Our friends at Wiley X have sent over some Sabre Advanced advanced shooting glasses how cool are they fully ballistic full ballistic lenses okay that is a that's a great prize on its own how good are these I hear you ask that is how good they are that is a lens that has been shot with steel shot at what is what does it say 10 meters 12 gauge not even gone through that is how good Wiley X glasses are okay, so you'll get a pair of them. It just, just gets better, it just gets better. You get Wiley X hat as well. How cool is that? Uh, our friends at Bailey's Shooting, Bailey's Shooting Supplies have thrown in a Gerber knife as well, so that's pretty cool. So, thanks to them. So, that is the prize pot so far. There'll be other bits and pieces added to it as we go on, no doubt. So, you know, you know what to do. Sub to Rack on any video and then get on um, rackandload.com. Be active on there, you know. I know you like you lot like Facebook. I get that. You like to see what your mates are having for tea. I get that. You nosy so-and-so's you. But if you just want gun stuff, shooting stuff, get on rackandload.com. You know, we're trying to we're trying to pull you off Facebook, not off it, but you know, sort of jump over it. Have a look. Let me know what you think. So, what's on the wall behind me? So, what have we got? I'll just show you, and then we'll we'll have a look at some of the comments. So, starting from the top, I can't handle them because I'm on. <laughs> this is daft. We've, we've mentioned this before on um, on YouTube Live. You can't handle a gun when you're live streaming. Hence the core wall, okay? So that's why I've done that. I've, I've mentioned that before, before, but what have we got on the core wall? So we have got uh, my Smith & Wesson up there, slightly tricked out. That's what I use for shooting speed steals. So that competition, that competition, by the way, is shooting speed steals. I don't know whether I mentioned that. Then we've got the, that's a TQT1X, believe it or not, but you should have, you should have watched the video so you'll know anyway. Uh, currently, I'm actually currently uh, testing that out. I've got the MDT chassis, obviously, but I've wanted to go for one of these straight um, pistol grips because, I don't know whether you've seen, in the video that I did about this rifle, I had a bit of a problem with that uh, Luth AR stock. It was just, I couldn't really get my, it's that bit there. I did show it on the video, and I was like, do I cut it out? Do I get the Dremel out or what? And then someone said, oh, I'll get a straight, straight pistol grip so uh, the guys at highland outdoors have sent me one of them just to test out so uh, so far i'm quite liking it so i probably will just buy it and then we've got the beloved schmeiser that's that's 22 rimfire by the way the schmeiser 223 ar i've got santa actually uh, bought me a um magpul bipod thank you very much santa claus that was very kind of you so i'm going to do a Bit of a mini review on that because I'm quite impressed with that. I've used them a number of times in the past, but I've got my own now, so that went on the on the Schmeiser. So, so yeah, and then we've got the uh, Tigris uh, that's still on loan to me, um, and that's uh, that's twelve gauge magfed shotgun. So that's quite cool. That's the reviews out on that anyway. So that I've really uh, I'm really quite impressed with that as a, as an X. I shouldn't say ex owner. As a previous owner of a Typhoon F12, nothing wrong with the Typhoon F12, by the way. I just, I don't know. I just, I just found myself I wasn't using it that much. So, um, so I've got quite a bit of experience with the Typhoon 
F12, which kind of set the standard for mag-fed shotguns of that price bracket. So then this come along, and I find I, I find this well, it's slightly slightly more tricked out, and it's got a few Gucci bits on it. But you'll have to go watch that video. I'm not going to spoil it. And then we've got, which I'm really impressed with, the F for you air gunners, by the way. <laughs> the FX Sabre Tactical Dreamline or Dreamline Sabre Tactical. So it's basically a Dreamline, <coughs> a Dreamline in a Sabre Tactical stock stroke chassis. That thing is really, really nice. Took, I took that video out the other day. I don't know what day, what day we are. Friday, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so I think I put that video out a few days back. So that is a really, really cool. Call cool option if you've if you've already got a uh, FX Dreamline, for example, that um, that's a good option if you want to sort of put it in a Gucci stock. So it's a folding stock as well. So it's quite interesting. Check that video out. So right, let's jump in some of the uh, comments. I'm tr I've got my mouse on the table, and I'm going to try not to wobble you guys because I've got like. I've got a laptop on like a wobbly um, bench. Box. It's on my. It's actually on my shooting bench actually. So oh, I'm wobbling. I'm wobbling a lot. Right, and so Michael Hepworth, what is the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? I'd say about fifty-four mile an hour. That's a guess. That is. <laughs> What's your favourite replica air pistol? Favourite replica air pistol? Um, oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. God, what have I used recently? Oh, God. Uh, well, actually, fun-wise, was probably the uh, the SIG, um, the SIG Virtus, that Virtus, when I can say it. That was, that was good fun, a good plinker you know, to use. Um, it was a little bit, it's been a little bit, what's the word? What's the, what's the phrase I'd use? Snowflaked, because it originally was, well, it, it wasn't, but it was semi-auto, okay? But it wasn't semi-auto. And I think, I don't know what happened there, it's for, I, I won't go into it, it might raise eyebrows, but they ended up having to do something with the trigger where, so it's not as fast to fire. Yeah. Yeah. Go figure. Um, because it's like a full power, you know, well, it's not, but it's, it's a full power air rifle um, or P, well, PCP. So I don't know that that was good fun to use. It would have been a lot more fun, you know, if, if they hadn't sort of messed about with it, you know, but yeah, um, but yeah, that was quite fun. Was it? I suppose you could class it as a replica, couldn't you? Uh, pistol wise, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Pistol. Favorite replica air pistol. Pro I was going to say the HW forty five because it's a it's a little bit nineteen eleven, isn't it? I suppose, and they they have been out for years and years, and they're rock solid. So probably, yeah, probably the. HW45, I reckon. I don't know. Yeah, probably. So, right, let's roll through some more comments. Uh, everyone's saying good evening, good evening. I'm a bit behind on the comments. I haven't even touched them. Um, right. Ah, so Michael Hepworth again finally managed to join a shooting club. How are you guys getting on with shooting clubs and stuff at the minute? Because obviously they're all short, aren't they? <laughs> So, yeah, it's interesting. Um, well, actually, what, what I've, got, I've got it written down here, actually, on my list. How have you guys gone on, if you like, your members of clubs? Have you had a bit of a refund because of, you know, lockdown and, and this, that and the other? Because I know the, the club that I'm a member of, they, we got a discount this year, you know, when we renewed our membership. So we had to pay that. And then all of a sudden, boom, we're in lockdown again. It's like, oh. So you sort of, you know, you pay your new membership, you're all good to go again back to the range and, ah, no, you can't. So 
whether we'll get another discount next year, I don't know, but it's a weird one, that is. So, yeah, um, as far as rifle ranges are concerned, I mean, clay shooting grounds, stuff like that, they're all short, aren't they? So it's just crap at the minute. It really, it really is crap. In fact, myself, I'm struggling a little bit. Now, I've got permissions where I can shoot, but I don't know. It's it's just not as it's not as good, you know, film wise and the noise and stuff like that. I prefer just to go to the range if I'm on, if I'm honest. Especially the amount of ammo I, I sort of chew through. Especially if I'm testing something like that, you know, where you're doing mags and mags and mags of shotgun. You know, you don't want to sort of. Um, annoy your, your landowner too much, I suppose. But um, but no, it's it's just crap at the minute. You know, I, I feel feel sorry for you guys, you know, you lack of shoot <coughs> lack of shooting. Um and I feel sorry for the clubs, to be fair, you know, they it's just crap. It's crap. So all all I suggest is uh, buy an air rifle and plink in the back garden, air rifle or air pistol. You know, at least you're sort of keeping uh, keeping your eye in, so to speak. Right then, um, let's move through the comments a little bit. Oh, I've settled down. I was a bit, I was a bit nervous, guys, when I when I was, when I set this up. I was like, oh god, why do I do these live streams? Usually something goes wrong. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. But so far, so good. If you, by the way, if you can hear like a humming sound, like an electric fan heater sort of over there that's keeping keeping me sort of up to temperature because after all we are in a cave aren't we so right then so everyone's putting sub drag so who's that Da -da -da. chris lewis yay fac in picked up 1522 today pimping it up for the last hour and it looks awesome. Wow, good stuff. What you done to it? Let me, Chris Lewis. Let me know what you've done to it. Uh, what sort of stuff do you done to it? I know on my Smith up there, I don't have to turn around, do I? I can if I sort of do this, I can sort of feel like a weatherman. So, <laughs> so here up north in Scotland, we've got the fifteen twenty two. What have I done to that? That is a Tony Systems handguard. Uh, right there, that is brilliant. That's uh, that has absolutely transformed um, my 1522. Bit of oh, I'm getting good at this lot. Magpul pistol grip there. Mo is it Moe pistol grip? And then I've got I forget what that is. What is it? Oh, I forget what the stock is now. It's not Magpul. I forget what it is. Someone will, someone will pipe up in the comments telling me what it is. And uh, Magload, um, what's it? What you call it? It's gone out. Of my head. Oh my god, Maxwell. Oh, yeah. Uh, what else we got? I've got uh, just other controls. I've got Magload um, ambidextrous uh, magazine release on the other side, and I've got what is it? I think it's. Uh, oh god. I don't know, I've got that, so that many stuff, bits and pieces on the go here. Yeah, I've, yeah, whatever. I've got non-standard bits on that anyway, but not much. And then I've got a, I've got a Guncraft uh, muzzle, metal muzzle brake on the end of it. So, yeah, that's really cool. And there's sight mark, uh, red dot. It's set up for the speed steals for me. So that's... And the first time I actually did... Um, speed steals with that setup and it, it worked really well for me i didn't come last and i was kind of expecting to come last but i did all right did all right right then um let's just jump back into the comments so yeah chris lewis so yeah let me know uh just let us know what you've done to it you know what what bits have you um have you chucked on your 1522 uh, okay that's a bit it would be nice if we could like comments on post. What? Oh, so you can't like people's comments when you're in the live chat. Okay, fair enough. It's weird because I'm seeing it from the other side, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, okay. 
by the way, talk on about live streams and stuff. Um, I'm going to be doing it. I've decided, depending on how this one goes, and it's all right, actually. Once, I sort of, once my nerves settle down and, you know, the stuff's flowing, uh, it's all right. I'm going to, and I did say this, I think, before Christmas or over Christmas, I'm going to try and do one of these a month. I can't do one, one a week. I would just run dry. I literally was, um, especially on YouTube. I mean, I can't really handle stuff either, so I can't sort of just babble on for an hour. But um, but I try and do one of these a month, so that'd be quite good, you know, catch up with you guys, let me know what you've been doing, I'll let you know what I've been doing, this, that, and the other. So that I think that'd float quite nice. We're going to try and do um, a few. Uh, remember, was it last year? Yeah, it was in the last lockdown, well, the first lockdown, we did some sort of, like, linked live streams. So we're going we're gonna to do that as well um, on YouTube if we can. Most likely on Facebook. I know I haven't got the capability to do it on uh, brackenload.com, um, but so we'll have to sort of stick to Facebook for that. But if can, I'd prefer to be honest to do it on on YouTube, if I'm honest. But um, I don't know I'm not that techie. I need to speak to my techie guy about that. How, how we can sort of um, how we can sort of get that get that up and running but uh you, we might have one we might have one in the near, very 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 near future with uh with with someone you'll see you'll see um right then just going through the comments uh, oh yeah Pete. yeah matt yeah signed up a little while ago take Take it that you're on about rackandload.com. Yeah, get on there, guys. Seriously, just um, just go and have a look. You know, it's it works pretty similar to um, you know to Facebook, but you don't see what people are having for the tea. And will you watch? You guys are going to be posting your food and Sunday dinner on there and stuff. Now I've said that. Um, Right, uh, to do, I'm just reading through some of these comments. Just bear with me, guys. <laughs> Matt, fair play. That's dedication, shooting yourself in the eyes to prove that the effect, effectiveness of the Wiley X is... I, I didn't quite do that, you know. Um, I won't tell you who I'll put them on. No, I didn't, I didn't actually do that. Uh, Wiley X actually gave me these uh, at... Uh, IWA or EWA in Germany, not last year because it was cancelled, but the year before. So, but yeah, that that is that's insane. That is ten meters steel shot shotgun blast, and it's not. You can just about. I've done a video on this, but you can on the inside, you can just about feel like little dimples where the the shot has hit the lens. Brilliant, brilliant. So, some lucky winners going to win them. Where are they? I've not even opened the box either. You know, COVID friendly I am, if that makes sense. So yeah, you're going to win a pair of those, someone is. Um, right, and let me just chuck more, have a look through the uh, comments. Yeah, just don't use, uh, don't use, uh, Bulk shot on them or slug shot for that matter. Mr. Top Gun 303. Your missus thinks you're on a porn site. Okay, why are you sort of ooing and ahhing about the stuff in the background or am I making weird noises? Okay. <laughs> I'm wobbling everything, I'm wobbling everything. And. Have you tried Travis card? Have you tried the Bagara B14 HMR? No, I haven't yet. Uh, no, that's one that I can get hold of one. I can, I've got access to like pretty much everything. Um, I, I did see one on there, uh, one on the rack a few few weeks. I think it was over Christmas actually. So I'll uh, I'll try and I'll try and get hold of one and uh, you know, and uh, give that a whirl for you. 
So no, not to, not much experience of any Bagaras, to be fair. A minute. And Matt, love the two tone Tigris. Yeah, you can get these in all different colours, and it's it's actually uh, Cerakote as well. So it's uh, you know scratch resistant and weatherproof and this that and the other. So it's uh, yeah, they do do some funky colours. I mean that's pretty tame, isn't it? So. Sort of flat dark earth and like a tungsteny colour. It's pretty tame. You you really need to sort of go insane on your colours. Go on their website. You'll see um, you'll see what uh, what colours they do. That's uh, on loan from Three Gun Nation UK, by the way, or Three Gun UK, Three Gun Nation UK. I always get mixed up. How they, how they like it to be called. <laughs> Uh, but no, that's cool. That's a, that has been a real cool shotgun, to be fair. Um, I say that my favourite bit about it is where, as you, if you check out the video, you can adjust um, the gas system on it, basically, with just a screwdriver. That's brilliant. But I think they should go one better and just put like a, like a thumb screw on it, like a nailed thumb screw, so you don't need any tools whatsoever. But it, it's it's great the fact that you ain't got to strip it down, you know, to adjust for different loads. So that on its that on its own is good, but if it's tool free, it'd be even better. Just my thing. In fact, though, what I did what I did mention on on the video of that is exactly the same as the Typhoon F12. You get what used to be called Typhoon Finger, where the safety catch is basically in the wrong position when it's uh, in fire position, basically. So it's basically pointing down. And when you're shooting, you write as a bit like that. It's sort of de the safety catch, that AR style, <coughs> style safety catch is basically just digging into your into your finger. And, uh, you know, when you're sort of doing loads of uh, rounds through it, after a bit, it really does dig in. I think it actually, I think it actually took skin off me, to be fair. I'm trying out. Um but no, really good, really good shotgun. I mean you get the you get that mag swell as standard, you don't get the red dot side. But you get the muzzle break as well. Can you just oh yeah, it's not quite off screen, so you can uh, you do get quite a quite a good bit of kit there. It's just a shame the barrel's like It is what it is, and you know, we won't go into that. Um right. Uh, right, Gary Scully. Hi, can you tell me if there's much difference between the first and second generation Schmeiser, Schmeiser Ultra Match as I bought the Gen 1 in lockdown and then the Gen 2 came out? Any thoughts? Uh, I think the main, the main um, difference is... They went from key mod to um, M lock on the fore end. I think that's the main difference. Uh, and they did. I'm sure they they adjusted the they made the um, charging handle slightly different. So so uh, it's basically you can just pop it out. Basically, I think that is all. I think that's all they did. I know that that on that particular model anyway. Um, the ultra match, I'm I'm not sure. Probably the probably the same unless they've done something different with the barrel. But uh, I'm not sure. Um, best bet is just have a look on the website and um, see, you know, see what um, what the difference is. But I'm I'm pretty sure it's just it's it's mainly the uh, they've just gone to M lot. That's the most obvious one, anyway. But hey, them things are great. They're actually guaranteed. The barrels on them are guaranteed for twenty thousand rounds. That is insane. On the two two three, that's just insane. Not even I'm going to put twenty thousand rounds through that. Seriously, but right. but no, they they are really great, really great rifles. You know, yeah, semi auto would be good. I, I get that. You know, but. Um, Two, two, three. It's, it makes it a bit more economical, doesn't it? I suppose so. 
you kind of got to look on the bright side. Um, right then, someone's saying earthquake. Am I shaking the, am I shaking the laptop a bit much? How do you think, uh, right, Andy, Andy, careless, Iraq, do you think you might review the Marlin 1894 and 357 anytime soon? Cheers, Andy. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see what I can do. I, I shall get hold of one of them, no problem. But that's, I've not done any Marlins, have I? I've done a lot of Henrys, but I've not done any Marlins. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. I shall uh, bear with me. You know this this crappy lockdown is uh, is affecting me as well. So you know a lot of places. I'm getting a lot of stuff come in from you know um, importers, stroke distributors, um, and other stuff. Other other bits and pieces. I sort of get from my um, my local shop, which is Livens. I'll give them a plug because they they're really good guys at Livens. They they sort of look after me in the channel. Um, but yeah, I'm sure I can get hold of one. Uh, what was that 45 70 that I had? That was that was a Henry as well, I think, weren't it? That, that thing was a cannon. Yeah, I need to get I need to get uh, I need to get one of them, a Marlin 45 70. That'd be quite fun. Apart, apart from the ammunition, it's a little bit costly to say the least. But that's another story. Um, CP99, CO2 pistol, good for plinking. Yeah, brilliant for plinking. Those are the older ones, aren't they, that have been out for like 20 odd, 20 odd years at least. CP99, was that this, was it CP something else? The Walther ones. Um, yeah, I had one of them. In fact, I don't know if I've, I wonder if I've still got it. Probably not. I've not seen anything messing here at the minute. You, honestly, it looks nice. I bet you think. God, it looks dead and eating here. You ain't seen what I'm looking at that way. There's just stuff everywhere. It's a nightmare. Uh, but yeah, CO2 pistols are good for plinking, but you've just got it depends how much plinking you do, because you remember you it's not just pellets, as it's the CO2. And it just after a bit, if you you know chuck it loads through it, it's, you've just got to sort of think about that cost as well. Get get like a little springer, like a Little tempest or something. I have actually got one of them in here somewhere. Definitely have. I can't handle it though. I was going to grab it. I can't actually handle a gun though because we're live on YouTube, which is a nightmare. So, but yeah, I'd, myself, zero two um, pistols are good for plinking. Even better in the summer when it's warmer because you know you get you seem to get more shots uh, with the um, with the CO two, but. You can't be a good springer, can you? In my opinion, in my opinion. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, so we're on about uh, we're on about clubs. Matt, mine's been my club's been closed for a year, uh, but got the good news that we've been we've been given twenty twenty one free. Oh, that's that's good. Fair play to that club. Uh, give them a, give them a plug. That's that's really good. Matt, if they're if they're giving you a free year, that's uh, that's really good. You know, um, yeah, shout them out on here, and I'll give them a shout out. That's fair play to them. Whatever club that is, I'll, I'll give you a shout in a minute when I know who you are, or when I sort of get through all the comments and down to it. Uh, our gun shops open in England here in Scotland. They're all closed, and I'm out of ammo. Not good. Jennifer, do you know that's not good? That really ain't good. Really ain't good. You should anticipate these things. Yeah, you should. You should anticipate a global pandemic, shouldn't you? Yeah, I'm. I'm actually. Well, we all anticipate zombies, don't we? We plan for zombies. So I can't believe none of us plan for pandemic. <laughs> the nightmare. Um, Andy Charles, as is shot. Is that club or? Gun shop. I'm gonna take it you're on about club. Oh, I'm knocking you guys about. Sorry. Uh the new <laughs> that's a good question. Will the new US president make it harder to get guns into UK? Uh God. 
it'll probably make it easier because he wants them all out of America. So he'll be like, put them all in a container and just get rid of them. Hopefully, that would be good, wouldn't it? That would be really cool. Yeah, just send them all to this that little that little island in the Atlantic. Send them all there. We'll do something with them. Um, right. Um, okay. Jennifer W. I've got a lot of deer on the call list. On the call list, but no ammo. This, you see, this way you need to be reloading, isn't it? I mean, that's one thing I don't do, talking about reloading. I, I really don't. I've not. I was teetering on the edge of, the, you know, starting it probably a year or so ago. And then, I don't know, it just didn't happen. I'm, I think that's, I'm going to get into it. I know a lot of people do, um, you know, really, yeah. It's, it's just like another, it's another hobby, isn't it? It's like a... You know, you've, you've got your shooting and then you've got reloading as well. They're, they're almost like two, obviously they intertwine, but it's it's, a, it's almost like a separate hobby, I think. I think I will get, I will get into that. Um, wait for the kids to grow up a little bit. You know, at the minute it's just, I just wouldn't have the time. You know, I, I get, I get in trouble for hiding away in here and going to the range some of the time. So I've got to, Got to strike a balance, but yeah. And plus with me, I have to be careful because a lot of people put in the comments when I've tested some, oh, have you tried any uh, home loads through it? Blah, blah, blah. It's, as a reviewer, when I'm getting stuff in for review that isn't mine, I don't, it's a bit of a sticky, well, it can be a bit dodgy putting home loads through something that isn't yours that's on test. Because if if something something went wrong, like you know, I had that Barrett the the other week, that Barrett Emrad, you know, I put home load through through it and blow the thing up, then I've got a big bill, very big bill. It's just at least with factory loads, you've got um, you've got a bit of comeback if that makes sense. If something did go wrong, because it'd be investigated, wouldn't it? Especially if you was if you was injured or something, it's you just got to think of it like that. So, and if you want to know more about home loads, if it, you know, and if you want a nice, very interesting day out, go to Birmingham Proof House, get a gang of you together. I think you have to be a minimum group of ten. Obviously, once all this COVID's done, um, but I think there are, there has to be a group of ten. And then you can visit the Birmingham Proof House and you go into their Hall of Fame where they've got guns that have blown up. And oh my God, will you seriously think about whether you should reload or not? Not that I'm saying reloading is bad. I, I absolutely am not. But they've got a Hall of Fame there of um, guns that have, were home loaded, where, where ammunition was home loaded and they've blown to bits. I'm talking like, cartoon stuff you know wily e. coyote when when like guns have just gone the barrels have just gone like that there, there's literally stuff like that and they honestly you'd be like oh my god you, and the things that you see in there you you have to think to yourself was the person shooting it killed when you see the state of some some of the uh, the things have got in there it's insane but that's that's worth a visit you know once all this is over not a live streamer, I mean the pandemic. Um, you know, organise organise a trip, sort it with your club, you know, get get a group of you together and you can go and visit visit the place and it is amazing. It really is amazing. And when I, I did a video on it, it was a long time ago, and they, they showed me sort of behind the scenes as well, a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff that they probably wouldn't show you because I was on my own, you know, and um but yeah, it's a real eye opener, a real eye opener. Right, let me jump back into the comments. Um, where, where do we get to? Gary Scully, we we discount our membership last year. It's good. Chris Lewis, he's put a, he's put a photo on Rack and Load Nation or rackandload.com. I dread to think what that is. Um, 
everyone. And bear with me, guys. I'm just, yeah, I've, I've lost all the, the comments shot back up to the top. Where are we? Oh, here we go. <laughs> At this rate, the clubs will be paying members. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong, yeah. Martin Shaw, sorry for joining late. Oh, disgraceful. What have you been doing? By the way, if you are watching live, um, welcome. You know, give us a thumbs up. Share the love, all that stuff. If you're watching the pre-recorded version where were you but no you can still throw in comments and stuff you know if you're watching it next week or whatever because it will automatically upload onto youtube power of technology uh what's this big shout out to northwest gun center bolton open monday wednesday friday saturday and gun day i like that gun day Ha ha, appointment only. Good lads. That's cool. Hope they're not breaching COVID. Yeah, I'm sure they're I'm sure they've got it nailed down. Cracking good glasses, yeah. But they don't crack. That's the beauty of them. They don't crack. So you can't say cracking. No, they won't protect you from COVID either. Well, I don't know. In fact, I think Wiley Oaks do do the devices as well, to be fair. I have to give them lots of shameless plugs because they really do look after the channel here. Do you think a 17 HMR T1X would be any good in an MDT chassis, Chris Lewis? Oh, God, yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah. That, honestly, the T1X is a brilliant rifle anyway because it's got like a semi-heavy barrel. So that makes it accurate anyway. But... I, I used it for a bit in its original, uh, it's in, it, in its original stock, and yeah, it's all right. And I've got the the uh, the straight, you know, the original stock that you get. You can take the pistol grip part off, and you can you can add a straight one. I did that; that was really nice, D just really good. But when I threw it in that, my god, it just transformed it, transformed it. Even with my shooting, I know, you know. Yeah, it totally transformed it. That, by the way, if you're wondering, if you haven't seen the video, shame on you. But that is a Presidia, um, Presidia moderator cover. Presidia, by the way, makes some real cool stuff. Mod covers. They make ammo pouches. Um, mat, I think they do uh, shooting mats as well. They do some real Gucci stuff. Uh, they do rifle uh, carriers as well. I've done, done a video on that as well. And underneath it, uh, there's a uh, Wildcat mod underneath it, just in case you're wondering. So, but yeah, um, back to the question. A 17 HMR T1X in an MDT chassis, yeah, it'd be, it'd be amazing. Amazing. Without doubt. Without doubt. So I've not actually tried the 17 HMR uh, T1X, if I'm honest. That's, that's just a... Two to LR, but yeah, that'd be yeah, that'd be really, really good, really good. It's got me thinking actually. You know, as now, uh, Gary Scully Marlins, thumbs up. Yeah, I'll get some Marlins. Bear with me. Yeah, uh, uh, that's a good question, Mister Top Gun three hundred three. Glastonbury has been cancelled. What will happen to all the shooting shows this year and Game Fair? Now, I've, um, the Northern Shooting Show have just cancelled. I mean, do you know what? This year, I hate to say it, but I don't think anything's going to happen this year. I really don't. And I hate to say that, but I'd love I'd love it all this COVID to be squashed sort of by summer. You know, we're all vaccinated, turning into zombies, all that good stuff, you know, and then um, back on to the normality. But I really can't see it. I really can't see it this year. Well, possibly, maybe, I don't know, autumn at the very, very earliest. I'm, I don't know, I'm just throwing that out there. But, yeah, it's been crap. I've really, really missed the shows I have. Excuse me, I'm drying up, guys. Uh, 
no, um, I've really missed the shows because, you know, that's where I get to meet you guys and just see all the latest stuff. And it's just, yeah, that's that's been a really crap, really crap for me. Um, I'm just reading some of the comments. Great channel. Got me back into a bit of target shooting after 25 years. Absence, blimey. Reunited with a new HW45 Black Star. Yeah, that's a cool little pistol. Great review. Thank you very much. I think you've sold it to me. Well, there you go. I've, where are all my ro where are all my royalties off all these sales? <laughs> God, that's another story as well. Um, yeah, the black the black star. I do remember that. Yeah. Anything HW is good, isn't it, really? Pretty much. You, know, you can't go wrong with uh, wine racks, can you? You really can't. But uh, Northwest show cancelled. Yeah, I know, I know. It's just crap. Crap, 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 crap. Looking for an aftermarket stock for my Lithgo. Ah, okay. Oh, Okay. Is that the one? Which Lithgo is that? LA101. Is that the Jason Vale? Is that the... Um, I forget which one I had. I had a Lithgo. Uh, that was a really nice rifle, actually. A really nice rifle. But I'll tell you the story about that, and you've probably seen it in videos. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, you just commented the 2-2. Two -two. Uh, I had uh, I had a problem with mine where it wouldn't extract, so I was waiting and waiting. It, obviously, it went back, and I was waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for this part to come from Australia. And after waiting for like oh God, three months, I was like, "Do you know what? I've got a rifle here that I can't even use, and it just have it back." And I think I will walk back out there with a with a CZ. I think. But no, I did. I did actually miss that rifle. I was a bit gutted about that, but I was a bit annoyed at the same time that it was taking so long for parts to come. I think um, it's Highland, isn't it, that uh, bring in the Lithgo? So uh, I think that by I think it was pretty new when I had one, probably five or six years ago. I think they'd only just sort of come out, but by now there'd be loads of like parts anyway in the UK. But no, it's stock wise, I don't know. Um, aftermarket, I mean, what sort of stock do you want? Do you want like a wooden stock, a laminate, laminate stock? Do you want a chassis? I don't know. Form, they, they're doing some nice, um, nice uh, stocks at the moment, as are is it GRS as well. There's some real nice stocks. You know, um, I've not had, not had anything sort of in at the minute. Chassis, oh, Jason Vale, Chassis. Uh, do uh, MDT do a chassis for it? I can highly recommend them. Highly recommend them. If if they do if they do one for the Lithgo, then um, it's, that's worth looking into because I know Highland do do the MDT stuff and the Lithgo. So you'd think possibly, you know, they've they've had them done or I don't know you have to look into that I could, yeah I'd definitely I'd recommend that anyway if if you can if they do one that fits um, but yeah but no the Lithgo I do miss my Lithgo I really do so I'm thinking about that su there's super slick actions on them aren't they and that thing was dead accurate as well and I, I think the one I had it was the black well I think it'd be the same as yours obviously with the sort of the silvery grey uh, Cerakote job and like the twisted um, patterning on the on the barrel, it's a really good rifle that was. But yeah, I was just gutted that that particular one wasn't working for me. So bit of a bummer. Never mind. Um, yeah, yeah, that's a good one, Mister Top Gun three hundred three. Some reviews on nine millimeter straight pull. Okay, uh, Lantac Calibre Innovations, Southern Gun Underleave. Yeah, I'll we'll see what I can do. Uh, I did. It's difficult at the minute with with this crappy lockdown, but Lantac. Yeah, what I'll do is I'll ride a unicorn to the end of the rainbow, 
and I'll be able to find one right there and I'll get one. Impossible, impossible to get hold of land tags are for me. Just impossible. Uh, but yeah, I'm sure I can uh, pester Calibre Innovations again. Um, sorry, guys, I keep wobbling the table. Uh, Southern God, yeah, I've seen that, that underlever thing. I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can do. Leave it with me. Um, Chris Lewis, right, have you tried any mods on the SP on the SP15? Uh, hopefully going to bag some foxes. Do, 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 do. I was wondering why it was like. Yeah, um, I have, I did, I have tried one that um, Oceana Defence sent me um, a moderator to try on the Schmeiser. Uh, but it was it was like a full titanium job. Uh, I've got a video coming out. I've got well, I've got a video of that that I still haven't done yet because I've got a massive backlog of videos at the minute. Uh, that was uh, it looked really cool, performed really well, uh, but it's like six hundred quid for a mod. Um, yeah, I think it was a bit sort of more military rather than civilian, hence the price. Um, so I don't know. Um, <clears throat> I'm sure, I'm sure Wildcat will do, you know, um, sort of more, how do I word it, affordable uh, mods that will go on a go on an AR. So yeah, it'd be worth be worth having a word with um, Alison at the uh, Wildcat. Definitely have a word have a word there. Yeah, ideal ideal tool for uh, bagging foxes, no doubt. Sorry, guys, I keep keep booting my table. Uh, Jason Vale, I'm a lefty, so no, not much about regarding chassis. Yeah, that's the thing. See, as you know, I'm a lefty, but I'm that used to using, um, I'm that used to using a right-handed bolt now. As long for me, as long as the stock, the cheek piece, is ambidextrous, and obviously, you know, the um, the pistol grip, I'm good to go. I'm just that used to using um, a right-handed bolt, so I don't know. But it's, I don't know whether GR. I don't think GRS do um, do left-handed stuff. I think I looked into that once, so it might be worth. Might be worth having a having a look at form stuff. Have a word with them. You know, uh, that would probably be that would probably be an option that I'd sort of delve into. Let me do a try time check. But I'm no way. It's five to nine. Oh my god, where is this hour gone? I thought I was going to run dry, guys. Uh, tonight, I thought it's going to be one of them nights where no one's going to ask or do anything. I'm going to be like drying up. Blimey, that's gone well quick. Right, let's chew through the comments then because we're running out of time. Um, oh, that's a good one. Have all the lever releases been compensated for yet? What is everyone going to spend their compensation on? That's a good question. Uh, pass, I don't know whether everyone's been sort of uh, weighed in, so to speak, uh, for their lever releases. But, yeah, more to the point, yeah, it's crap that they've got to go, but it is what it is. It is, isn't it? We can we can shout, we can moan, we can cry as much as we like. It ain't going to do anything, is it? I mean, it ain't. So, what do you spend your money on? Well, if you add, um, I don't know, what would you, depends what you add, what, what you want. The world's your oyster, isn't it? Really, uh, I can I can highly recommend them smizers. I really can, really can. But if you want like a pistol caliber stuff, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, personal preference, isn't it? Really, I don't know what I don't know what to suggest there. It depends how much you're going to get for them, isn't it? You, know, you could probably get. I don't know how much some things run for. You, you're going to get a few quid, no doubt. You could probably get a couple of a couple of new bits, possibly. I don't know, just what you got on your ticket. What what. Uh, spaces have you got left on your ticket? Think about that. Um, 
Andy for a hunting small game with a 177 Capato. Need to be need an unbiased opinion on on first focal plane scopes. Enjoying the show, right? Cheers, Andy Fry. Oh God! Now you see, I'm not, I'm not massive on scopes. That's why I don't do scope reviews. I've done a few, but I'm not. I don't like being. I don't know. I just find them difficult to review. You know, you can you can do an unboxing video. No, I, I'm not that desperate video wise to do unboxing videos yet. Someone have a word with me if I start doing unboxing videos. I think I've done one unboxing video, and that was when I was not on the wall when I had a, a shotgun seracoted, and I was dead excited to just get it out of the box and show you guys. That so that was technically, I suppose, an unboxing video. Um, but no, um, scopes. Yeah, they're, they're not really my thing. I mean, it, they always say get the get the best scope that you can afford. But for hunting small game on a 177 Capato, you need something half decent, don't you? I mean, have a look at Hawk have got a great range. You know, Vortex got a good range. Do you, do you, it depends how much you want to spend. You know, I think Hawk, Hawk are a little bit cheaper. They've got virtually um, the same, you know, warranty as Vortex. A lot of, a lot of scope manufacturers now have got the same sort of um, warranty. Um, so yeah, I mean, I've for example, Hawk, I've see that red dot there. I think I'm on my second, yeah, second one because I actually destroyed a red dot site on a shotgun like that. I think it was on the Typhoon actually, where I, I was shooting slug, and then all of a sudden I was like, What's that big line through my red dot? And why have I got 10 red dots? Yeah, it shattered the lens. So, but Hawk was sound. They were like, yeah, sound. I ended up taking it to, the, I think it was the British shooting show. Guys at Hawk, were like, yeah, yeah, no problem. Just got me a new one. No problem. But no, I'd go, I know that's a bit vague, but I'd just go for the, go for the best one that you can afford. But I'd definitely have a look at, have a look at Hawk stuff. There, there's loads of different scopes out there now. Loads of, um, you know, different, different makes. If you was talking sort of, Center fire stuff like that, then I'd probably go in a, a little bit, a little bit more in depth. But again, the same sort of thing, you know, get the best you can afford. So, uh, is the dark earth Josh Fairbanks is the dark earth rifle an air rifle? That one there, no, it's a it's a two two rim fire Tika T one X in an MDT chassis with a Luther AR stock. MDT pistol grip, Presidia mod cover, and underneath that is a Wildcat moderator. And oh, what scope have got on there? What scope is it? Uh, Optizan, Optizan scope. There, that's good. That's another good uh, make. Uh, Andy Fry, Optizan there. That'd be ideal for air gun shooting. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Colin Vick. Goss, uh, do you rate your Stoga as in my Stoga shotgun? Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. My semi auto uh, M3K. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. It's it's not really choked upon me. You feed it half decent shells. Um, you know, yeah, it, it runs. I've not really had major problems with it. So, yeah, not bad. Not bad. Uh, I said, my mood, Neil, apply for Section 5. But yeah, a few people have said that. Um, I, don't, I don't know what advantage it would give me, to be fair. Um, yeah, it'd be cool and stuff, but unless someone getting international stuff to sort of review, then possibly. But it's, again, I've got access to places where I can, you know, test Section 5 stuff, but yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I'm going to have to wrap this up soon, guys. I'm just working my way through the comments. Uh, 
is this going to be a weekly session lockdown as lockdown can be born? I was going to do it monthly. Sorry, if I do it weekly, I'm going to run out of stuff to talk about. I really am. So I'm going to do it. We'll see. Well, it won't be weekly. It'll be, well, depends. If we can get other people to sort of join me, then yeah, I'll do them a bit more often. Uh, if I'm doing them on my own, they're going to be monthly. If we can get people to jump in on the stream, obviously they won't, they won't be able to come in here, but if we can link it, then yeah, might do weekly stuff. We'll see. Watch this space. I'm actually in talks anyway about that. So yeah, watch this space. But as far as on my own, it'll be monthly. Uh, da, da, da. Right. Uh, I'm just chewing my way through the, uh, yeah, Andy, Andy Kerr, I said, hour gone. Yeah, it's, that, has, that has been the fastest hour of my life. Oh my God. Uh, yeah. Just to let you know that Wensbury Marksman Club while shut during lockdown, is having a complete makeover. Yeah, I know about that. I've been seeing the guys at Wednesday March, and that's having a total refit. Um, so, yeah, that's really cool. Um, so, yeah. Do, do, someone's asking, oh, got my patch yet, me? As in, <laughs> what have I... S Are you still waiting to be sent a patch? I need to get some more done, you know. I'm sure on patches. I'll get. Do you know what? I'll get a load more of those done. Um, patches. If you guys want them, I think they're about six quid each. I think the um, the three D rubber uh, patches. I'll, I'll get. I'll get. A, I'll get a few more of them done. Um, bear with me. Bear with me. Anyway, I am going to wrap it up, guys. That has been the fastest hour of my life. I've got to have a drink on the train. Look, that was cool. I enjoyed that. Thanks for sort of um, interacting and, uh, you know, keeping it flowing. That's, that's cool. Thanks very much. Um, I will be back, obviously. I will do, I'll do this. Like I said, I'll do this in a month, you know, on my own. But if I get someone to join me, I'll do it more often. But like I said, I'm in, I'm in, uh, I'm in talks about that. Okay. So thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe. Uh, just, you know, bear with the lockdown, buy an air rifle, plink in your back garden, stuff like that. Be safe. Thanks for watching, guys. I shall see you on the next one. By the way, there is a few videos that are going to be uploaded in the next week or two. So, um, you know, keep it up. And get on rackandload.com as well. You know, start posting pictures of your dinner. No, not really. Not really. Keep it. Keep it. The content you know, like this, shooting related. But no, get on there. Remember, this competition is still active. It is still live. Phrase that pays is subbed at Rack. Put that on any video and get active on rackandload.com because I'll be watching, okay? And when we hit that 50,000 subscribers, I'm going to be drawing a name out of a hat because someone's going to win all this Gucci stuff and that two days worth of shooting with Kirk Grimes. That is going to be amazing. And, and by the way, I'll be filming that as well. So you'll be a star. You'll be a star. Anyway, good night. Thanks a lot, guys. I shall catch you soon. Stay safe. That is Rack and Load. See ya.